How to capture WhatsApp leads with Google Ads. Hello and welcome. My name is Oluwale. In this video, I will show you the step-by-step -step guide you will use to capture leads on your WhatsApp with the help of Google Ads. It is quite difficult for you to use your WhatsApp link as your landing page on Google Ads. However, I will show you the exact thing you will do in order for you to be able to capture as many as possible leads on your WhatsApp with the help of Google Ads. So let's go ahead and start with the process. So right now I'm in my Google Ads account and currently in this particular account, I have a couple of adverts active, but this particular advert you are seeing here is directing people to a landing page on my website where I will be able to capture them directly on my WhatsApp. So let's go ahead and click on this advert and see what will happen right on this particular landing page. If I go to the bottom a little bit, I will see the form. So this is my form. This is where they can fill some information and submit it and I will get it directly on my WhatsApp. However, it is quite likely that you don't have a website that can build a landing page and that might be the reason why you want to use a WhatsApp link so that you can collect leads on WhatsApp. I will show you what you will need to do in order for you to be able to get this done and capture as many as possible leads on your WhatsApp. We will be using two platforms to be able to get this done and I'm going to show you the platform. The first platform is where I will build my WhatsApp form to be able to capture WhatsApp lead. So let's go straight to the platform. This is the platform I use. This platform I have been using it for a while and it's working perfectly well. So if you come to this website, you will be able to create an account absolutely for free. However, they have paid version. I'm going to drop a link to this particular platform. And if you go ahead and click on the link, that is going to be my affiliate link. So if you go ahead and subscribe to their paid version, I might get commission from the payment. So that is what I want you to know before you click on my affiliate link. So right on this particular platform, you can go ahead and register. The registration process is very simple. All what you need to do is you enter your WhatsApp phone number here. You go ahead and select your country. Right now, I'm in Nigeria. Wherever you are, they support a lot of countries. Then you can just go ahead and select your country. Then you enter the phone number. That is your WhatsApp phone number. So I have already registered my own WhatsApp with this particular platform. So I don't need to register again. What I will just have to do is I will log into my own account. So I click on login at the top right corner here. Then after clicking on login, it automatically detects your country. Then I will go ahead and enter the WhatsApp number I used to register on this platform. So I will go ahead and enter my WhatsApp number now. 7840640. So I'll click login with WhatsApp. By the way, you also have option to login with your email. So immediately I click login with WhatsApp, it's going to send the verification code to me so that I can be able to log into my account. So right now the code has entered my WhatsApp phone. So I will enter the code here. Two, seven, four. So it's going to automatically log in into my account. You can see I have one form active in this particular account. And that is the form you are seeing here on my website. You see IGMB inquiry form. That is the form I have on this particular platform. Now, if I click on the responses here, you'll see that I have 24 responses. But because I'm using the free version, I will not be able to assess these responses here. But let me tell you, all the responses have already entered my WhatsApp phone. So I can see all of them directly on my WhatsApp phone. So you don't need to be panicked as regards this because all the response will definitely go directly to your WhatsApp. But in case you just want to use their platform, maybe you want to be able to send messages directly from the dashboard here and do a couple of other things like exporting, importing and so on, then you might want to upgrade to their paid version. So I think the paid version is even very cheap. If you click on it, you see this is it, $12 per month. That is not expensive at all. So if you want to use the paid version, you can go ahead and use it. So let's go back to the discussion for this particular video. So this is the form. If I want to create a new form, I'll just go ahead and click on new form. So once I click on new form, because my number is already logged in, then it's going to take me to the next step here. Then from here, I have some templates I can choose from. 
but you are seeing this template is not showing any image because i have some plugin that are blocking some features on this website so if i go ahead and disable that plugin this is go straight let's trust this website and reload the page then we should have the image now display so i click on next again you can see the image has displayed because i have trusted this particular platform so i can go ahead and choose start from scratch use template then copy from google form if you have a google form you want to use you can copy directly from google form if you want to use their template you can use their template but i encourage you to use start from scratch and the reason is because if you create a very complex form and then when people visit the website they might need to start strolling 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 before they can have access to all of the details of the form so you don't want them to start strolling you want the form to be as simple as possible so that they can see the required details they need to fill and immediately they fill it they submit it then you get a message directly in your whatsapp then you can continue from there so you go ahead and click on create from scratch and it's very easy to do that once you click on create from scratch you see from the left hand here you see different input you can enter there you can drag this is text then you can drag maybe multiple choice you can have maybe maybe you want to put a date you can put it there you can add, if you want to collect email you can also collect their email if you want to collect a phone number you can but you don't even need to collect phone number because they are going to be messaging you directly on whatsapp their whatsapp number will definitely pop up on your phone if you want to put image there maybe there you can put it there so this is the very simple template you can just go ahead and play around it if you want to add image upload image you can just look at my desktop and see if i have any image there i can upload the image there's the image i can use here let me use this my logo so i put the image there that image is too big i can put some text here so once you fill this information you can edit this test you can see on the right hand side choose one option i can say select your gender then here i can put option one is maybe male then two is female maybe the next one i want to do is maybe um date of birth choose an um, entire date of birth your birth date of bed i don't ask you to go and request for their date of bed i'm only using this for demonstration purpose so you can just go ahead and play around just build a form that is very very relevant to your business don't go ahead and start asking them sensitive information if you ask them sensitive information google might ban you from using their platform so that is that so once you finish building the form then you can go ahead and click on publish i'm not going to publish this particular form because i'm only using it for demonstration purpose i will use the form i already have to continue from here so let's go back and click on this logo here you can see this is the form i'm building at the moment it's unsaved it's not published this is the form i have published even as i'm talking now i have gotten some messages on my whatsapp that is why you can see this green button here showing for i just recently got new messages on my whatsapp from my google ads so now i will click on this share button if i click on this share button i have a couple of options on how i can share this particular form now the next thing we want to do is we want to build a landing page you remember you cannot use the whatsapp link as your landing page on google ads and that is why you definitely need to build a landing page but in case you don't have a website how are you going to be able to build a landing page that is the next thing i want to show you in the process so right now i will go straight to my google site google site is absolutely free for you as long as you have a gmail account so right on my google site which is sites.google.com once you enter sites.google.com you can log in with your gmail account so i already logged into this particular browser and that is why i'm here now i have about two of them here which is two sites i built on this particular google site by the way these sites are just for demonstration purpose so let's go ahead and click on one of the sites here if i click on one of the sites here which is the one i have recently built then i can edit this site if i want to change this image for example this image change image just go ahead and click on it then you can see change image i can upload a new one or i can select if i have 
images on my Google Drive. I can even use some suggestion that Google have here. You can see a lot. I can just go ahead and select this. Then once I select that, I enter. You can see it's there. I can edit the text. Let's just use a um, WhatsApp lead form lead capture with Google Ads. I can adjust the font size. Let me select that. Let me adjust it to maybe 36. I can make it bold. Mm, I can change the font type. Maybe let's see, Geria. Then if I want to change the color, I can change the color. Maybe I want to use yellow. So you can play around with the design. Just make sure you design a very simple landing page. So I have added some text here. You can go ahead and add some text. I will also encourage you, don't just go ahead and embed the WhatsApp form on the landing page without having any other information. If Google detects that the landing page is strictly for capturing information without giving them any value, the advert is going to be disapproved and your advert account might even be suspended. So just go ahead and add some information to the landing page. Like you see, I've added the header, then I can go ahead and add some text. You can add some image. Then you can go ahead and add a little more thing there. I can delete this particular section. I don't need it. Then I can go ahead and add what can I add. There's a lot of options on the right hand side here. Maybe you want to add a table of content or which other thing? Maybe I want to embed YouTube video. I can go ahead and click on YouTube. Then I can just search for maybe or just web. Search for just web and see if I'll go to uh -huh. This is a just web. I can go ahead and enter that video there. I can reposition the video to the center. So you can go ahead and design the landing page the way you want it. And once you finish designing it, let me go ahead and delete this particular form I embedded. Let me show you again. Then I can now go to the top here on the right hand side. Then I'll click on this embed. Once I click on the embed, I have two options by URL, by embed code. Now, if you go back to the platform where I created my WhatsApp form, you see we have some options to embed on the website. Website here, and this is the option. We can copy this link and embed it with the embed code, which is the embed code. But I will encourage you not to do that because if you do that, your Google site might not work properly. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to use URL. So let's go back to the platform and look at the link here. Let's copy the link. Then let's come back to Google site and paste the link here. Then Google is going to scan the website and see. Now this is the form I created. This is the exact form. Let's go ahead and look at the form. You can see this is the exact form. And that is what you are seeing here. So I'll go ahead and select that particular form. Once I select the form, I'll click enter. So right after I've entered the form and that is it. The form is there. I can just go ahead and click on publish. So once I click on publish, Google is going to tell me to enter the URL I want for this particular website. Let's say ODS demo class demo video. So I can go ahead and click publish. You can see now this is going to be the link to that particular website that you built on Google site. site.google.com forward slash view forward slash ODS demo video. Then you go ahead and click on publish. Once you click on publish, then the website will be live. Now let's go ahead. The website is live now. So this is the link here. I click on link. Then I copy the link. Let's choose another browser now. I don't, I think I have a Microsoft Edge here. So let's use Microsoft Edge to view the website. So I paste the link I copied, then I click on enter, then it's going to load the site because I've already published the site on Google site. Now this is the site. This is the site. You can see this is the site and this is the form. So once people come to this particular site, they can see whatever you have there, then they can just go ahead and select Quara State, then enter which state do you prefer? Prefer option state. State. There. Have you written jam? Yes. Then they click on submit on WhatsApp. Immediately they click on submit on WhatsApp, it's going to take them directly to your WhatsApp and then you'll be able to capture their details. Then you can continue from there. So that is how you can use WhatsApp form 
to capture WhatsApp lead with the help of Google Ads and then go to Google site and build a very simple website there. Use it as your landing page, then start using it to advertise your business on Google. The interesting thing is that you can build as much as possible Google sites on your Google account. So you can see this is the one I recently edited. I've done this before. Another thing is that once you come to Google site, you can click on this blank option to start creating your site from scratch, or you can even use some of the available templates there. If I click on this template, I will be able to see all the available templates. So you can see there are so many templates here you can choose from. Just go ahead and select any template that you want. Use it to build your landing page, embed the form, which is this particular form, embed it. Once you embed it there, go back to your Google Ads account, set up your advert, then use that link as your landing page and you will start capturing WhatsApp lead with the help of Google Ads. So make your landing page as simple as possible. Don't make it complex. Complex landing page will distract your website visitor. So you want to make it as simple as possible so that they can go straight to the form and fill the form and contact you directly on WhatsApp. So that is what I have for you in this particular training. I hope you learned something in this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask and I will respond to your question. Thanks again for watching. And don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel or Just Web Digital Solution. See you again some other time. Bye for now.